my lovely little morning doves. So today I have kind of an impromptu haul slash review video for you. Uh, my brother and I had some of our mutual friends over last weekend for a Thanksgiving party and one of the girls who came, who is also one of the only other goth people I know in real life or like alternative people, there's not a lot of us around here, um, but she had just made an order at Coco Pink and she brought some of the samples and a couple of, uh, I think, perfumes and linen sprays that were just not to her taste uh, with her to see if I wanted any of them, which was incredibly nice of her, and I am just so floored and excited because I've heard a lot about Coco Pink, and I like things that smell good. I think I've made this clear. I have all of the listings pulled up on the Coco Pink website so that I can read the descriptions to you as I go through. There were a couple that I couldn't find, um, I don't know if it was just my using the internet not working and <laughs> I'm just bad at it, or maybe they're not on there, although I can't see why they wouldn't be, so I'm not really sure. If you know, tell me, because I'm lost. Uh, but anyways, let's get right to it. So the first thing I have is a full-sized linen and hair and body spray, and this one is in the scent Autumn Splendor. Now it is supposed to be a gorgeous fragrance of bright red autumn leaves swirling around sweet birch trees, whispers of golden sage, warm amber, rosewood, and a drop of honey. And let me tell you, that is, that is what it smells like. It smells like autumn leaves. It's very kind of crisp and bright and sweet and just, it's delicious. It smells so good. So I really, really like this as a room spray. I don't use it as a body spray as much, but I really like my room to smell like this because it is so crisp and light and just, it just smells like fall and fall is my favorite. You know this, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, I absolutely adore this one. So the other linen spray that I have, which I love even more, is Black Marshmallow. Holy shit. I love this stuff. It is amazing. Um, I use this one a, a lot in my hair. It stays in my hair and then just when I'm moving around in the day and my hair moves, I'll just all of a sudden smell like the wonderful, sticky, awesome black marshmallow. And the description of this one is, you love sweet things like sugar cubes and white lace, but sometimes you need to be a little naughty. Try this new foodie sexy blend of sweet marshmallow fluff and rich ambers for a dessert you won't forget. And it is. It is so... It makes me hungry. Like, it is so rich and sweet and it just... It smells sticky. It smells like a sticky, warm, roasted marshmallow. But at the same time, it does have that kind of musky amber smell. I don't have anything else to say about this one. It's absolutely amazing. I am going to use the shit out of it. It smells so good. So now I have four little perfume samples to tell you about. Um, I believe these were all little gifts that came with uh, my friend's order. The first one is called Black Kittens, and it is described as black Boo Boo Lemon Noel, a drop of Egyptian musk. Uh, Boo Boo Lemon Noel is another one of their scents described as lemon curd and vanilla bean noel. Um, so it's got that kind of creamy citrus to it. And then for Black Kitten, it was added in with the musk and everything else. So yeah, this one definitely has that little bit of musk and it's, it's very vanilla sweet dessert. The next perfume sample I have to talk about is called Dracula, and the description says, What does Dracula love more than blood? Blood oranges, of course. Thick slices of juicy blood orange covered in rich dark chocolate. This one is like chocolate cake. <laughs> it's not as sticky sweet as the other scents. It is much lighter, which is kind of nice. Um, it's like a step back. And yeah, it just, it's, it's got that Tootsie Roll smell. It smells like chocolatey, cakey deliciousness. Oh, it's making me hungry. Uh, so that one's really nice. I really like that one as well. 
the third perfume that I have to talk about is called Lipstick Stains, which is described as a pale bourbon vanilla shocked with sexy red musk and bright red Bulgarian rose petals with lashings of sensual incense. This one sounds super sexy. Oh yeah. And this one really, uh, to me, smells like incense. That's the biggest thing that I get from it. Um, almost like rose incense, really, with that Bulgarian rose in it. It smells like a really beautiful, smoky, floral incense. And it's, again, it's not quite as sticky or sweet as the other ones. It's, uh, it's not much of a food smell. It is definitely more of an incense, kind of musky, sexy smell. And I think that's amazing because I love incense. So if you like incense, I would highly recommend this. Now, the last one that I have to talk about in the perfumes is called Marshmallow Sunrise, and I couldn't find it on the website anywhere. I kept flipping through and checking the different areas. I would have thought that it would be in the foodie sense, but looking, it ends at Marshmallow Pumpkin, and there is nothing below that. Uh, so I have no idea. I have no idea where Marshmallow Sunrise is, or maybe it's been discontinued, or maybe it's not on there. I have no idea. This one to me seems like it has hints of citrus as well. It's almost like lime. It smells like vanilla, the marshmallow base, where it's really sticky and sweet and vanilla. And then it's got this really bright after smell of like lime. It almost to me smells like a key lime pie baking with like marshmallow fluff, like a key meringue pie no idea what the fuck I'm saying anymore, but it smells really good. Okay, so one of the last things I have to show you is a body scrub. It's the Soft Bubbles Sugar Scrub. Now, I have always been a fan of sugar scrubs, um, but this one, I, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to show you, but it is so squishy. Like, I want to just pull it out. It's almost like moon sand. Like, I don't know if, if you're here in America and that we have this stuff that's like Play-Doh, but it's sandy and it's called moon sand and that's what this reminds me of and I love it because it, it's just got a great texture. Oh, and it smells amazing like everything else that I have here. Uh, this one is in the scent Cinderella's Carriage and the description is what did Cinderella really wish for? We think that it was this blend of coconut cream pie with marshmallow meringue, sweet pumpkin, vanilla, and vanilla bean noel, um, which I believe is another one of their scents. And it is, it smells like dessert. It's much more um, vanilla and coconut are really what I get out of this, especially the coconut cream where it's got that just rich coconut flavor with sweet vanilla sticky goodness and that marshmallow just shines through like it does with the other ones and it's awesome. And the last thing I have to show you is this little sample of cocoa mango body butter. So it's like a little body butter lotion, and it is in the scent Witch's Delight, which is described as brimming with the true olfactory essence of the fall season, soft buttery vanilla cookies dusted with orange and black sugar, fresh cranberries, blood orange oil, dark brown sugar, Turkish mocha whipped with shards of bitter almond roasted hazelnuts, tempered with a cool blast of iced vanilla. And again, it is just a sticky, delicious food smell that makes me so hungry. <laughs> oh, and if you just sit and take a big, deep breath of it, it really is what they describe it as. It's got those notes of fruit and, but really like fall fruits, uh, the cranberry and orange, but it's all underneath this heavy, sticky, delicious vanilla with the almond and just the, the heavier flavors are what come through first and then you get that little after scent with the fruits and it's just phenomenal. <laughs> I want to eat it. It smells like some kind of delicious mousse that should be in a dessert, not on my skin but I want it on my skin so that I can smell like that too. <laughs> Thank you again to my friend who gave these to me. I honestly have no idea if she watches these but if you do Thank you so much. This is awesome. And I I just adore all of them, really. I love these things. I would definitely order from Coco Pink. 
again I probably will now that I know about these and I want to try all of them now. Now I, I want to just buy all of their foodie scents and just I want everything in my life to smell like delicious food forever. Like who doesn't want that? I'm still collecting questions for the next Q&A video so if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the description below so that I can save them and uh, have them ready for that next video. Uh, all of my social media as usual will be in the description box and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!